Hi, I'm Phil Tufnell. Now, some of you might recognise me off the TV, and some of you might have even watched me play cricket. But how many of you know that I have another passion? Something I feel very strongly about. I want to tell you more about the work of the Children's Trust. Since 1984, the Trust has helped hundreds of disabled children and their families have a better life and I've been fortunate to witness some of the amazing work they do. All the children here have severe disabilities. Some were born with them, some developed the condition due to a terrible illness or a terrible accident. But they share one thing, they all want to be children and grow up to have the best life possible and that's the aim of the Children's Trust. Let me tell you about Sophie. When Sophie was born, she appeared to be a perfectly healthy baby. But after a year, her parents realised that something was terribly wrong. You light the skies up above me. Sophie uh, was a big baby when she was born. Um, an unexpected redhead. So bright. And it was nice to have a, a girl after I'd had her brother. She was around about 20 months of age when we started to realise Sophie had a problem. She just started to become, having walked quite early on, um, she just started to be, to stagger about a bit and um, it just, it progressively got a lot worse. She had a CT scan which was unsuccessful because she wouldn't lay still. Um, so we then had an MRI the following day under a general anaesthetic which confirmed that she had a brain tumour. So we went down to Addenbrooke's and we started on a course of steroids to reduce the tumour, just a fraction, uh, and we were then taken for an operation to remove the tumour. It all went to plan. Uh, she went to have an operation and she was then taken to the intensive care department. It was then that things started to take an unexpected turn because she, didn't, she couldn't breathe for herself and it was then that I think things just kind of went from bad to worse. Don't close your eyes. It left her in a, in a coma, basically. She wasn't able to breathe for herself. She wasn't able to move, to swallow, to, to speak. Um, lots of times, you know, you were just looking for a sign, a smile, uh, a recognition, and there was just nothing. Having only that morning had her, you know, talking to us was very hard to very hard to deal with. Your love, so it's been very difficult for all of us. Um, there's been so many ups and downs. When we were told on two occasions that uh, we probably shouldn't expect her to pull through, we really didn't know where we were. Oh, When we first came to the Children's Trust, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, um, but she has come. She has come on in leaps and bounds, and her personality has really, really come through. She's now doing crawling, which she couldn't do before. For her to be able to have some independence and be able to be mobile is actually more than I can explain. What's your name? Anne. It's like it's tailor-made especially for her. The trust has helped us because I can now be her mum. Um, the, the pressure's been taken off me um, to be her therapist and, you know, be her nurse. Um, and I can now be her mum. It would be a real struggle. If Sophie hadn't have come to the trust, we, we did have a brief time, a brief spell at home where resources are so stretched that she wouldn't be in the place where she's in now. It's like it's a lifeline I think that's been that has been thrown to us to a once in a lifetime opportunity to bring Sophie from to help her through the ordeal that she's been through. I describe the Children's Trust as um, an environment for learning and play, uh, for being supported. Hello, come on then. For having fantastic therapists and just to be held in a time when you feel really lost by, you know, what's going on and everything around you. 
I think everybody should get involved with the Trust. I've seen the benefits for Sophie and I think every child should have that chance. I think the fact that she's happy and confident and likes being here has just given us the opportunity to, to just move forward really and um, you know, be a family again. Thanks to the Children's Trust, Sophie is making small steps to a much better future. There's nowhere else like the Children's Trust. They not only provide rehabilitation for children with brain injuries, they also provide specialist education, therapy and nursing care to some of the most severely disabled children in the country. That's why I feel strongly about helping, whether it's playing cricket with the kids or turning up the fundraising events. So why don't you join me and do your bit in helping an amazing charity and changing some kids' lives.